Okay, so if you might have thought that um my high dry seam video was a little complicated, I have a simpler way of drawing dragons. So that is what I will be teaching today. Now this one still kind of has like the same procedure. You just like the same thing. Like you draw a circle right right here. And then you're gonna draw I'm gonna I'm gonna do the more broken in kind of version of it. Because what I tell you is that you're gonna draw a little dot in the middle of the circle and you're gonna go down and then back down. That's just that's just for no reason practically. But then obviously you're going to take this and then go forward and you're gonna go like that and then up. Actually make that a little shorter. Like this. And then you're gonna make your little circle. And then you're gonna make a big circle. Well, oh, big or soccer circle, not too big. But then you're gonna go up that way, up, and then out. And don't make the horns too straight, because ceiling horns are typically curved, so you can make those curved horns. No, the face is much simpler. Because basically the eye is just a little line. And then you put the little little smile. And then a triangle and then a dot. Now um I'm gonna take here, then you're gonna come down. Like that, kind of. <laughs> you're gonna kind of go like that, like that. You're gonna kind of like that, and then come and then make a flow in this kind of motion, like this. So, um. This is basically just your tail, so you're gonna kinda take this circle and you're gonna swoosh out and then you're gonna make the little circle make it a little little wider and then you're gonna do the same thing where you go out and out and then down. Now, I made this very long, so try, don't do that. Uh, wait. Make it a little shorter, because you don't want it to be too long. And don't, <laughs> don't do it. Anyway, you're going to, um, follow the tail up like that and then you're gonna take this leg and then you're gonna follow it and go down no you're just you know you're going to find your ground and then those are basically just your feet and you're gonna take like right back here you're gonna go down and then out and then for this back leg you're gonna go um down but this time a little more back as the things are balanced like this so right there i'm not going to find what that is like that now 
feet. They're pretty, they're literally, they're really simple, which is kind of why I did this. But basically, you just go, the feet are basically just kind of like that. Like, they're just kind of a swoopy little swoop out like that. So you're going to take your other foot and then um, raise the front bit a little and then swoosh out. And then from here we have a basic dragon, kind of at least. Well, um going to add the underscales and then we're going to add the wings and yeah all that stuff so wings we're gonna add this little bump then you're gonna go all the way up like that and then you're gonna go all the way over the head and we're gonna take this go like this and then when you get to this bend, you're gonna add a little bitty spike. And then you're gonna come back. Now, up here, you're gonna take this and then you're gonna go over and then bump. Now, for the wings, you're just going to make this webbing go up like that. Then you're going to bring this up, stop like that, and then bring this out and over like that, just like this, and then back. And the next one. It's going to be off, so you're gonna pull up like that. And then the third one, I have to erase a little bit, but this one's gonna be up even higher. So just like that. Then up here, you're just going to connect the webbing off. And make sure that this isn't too long. Now, you're gonna make this spike here and a little spike here, and then a little spike here. Now, you're gonna take right here, and you're gonna go like that, and then like that. And then for here, um, you're going to take right here, you're going to go up, over, like that, and then from here on, you're just going to make this little pattern all the way to the tip of the toe. Now we're gonna add our underscales. So right here at the jaw, you're gonna go down and like that. And then you're gonna take out here. You're gonna um come out. Now let me erase this real quick. So I can see better. And then you're gonna come out like that. And then you're just gonna go with this um to the tip of the jaw. then we just add the patterns that we learned yesterday so we do the little arch and dot in there and then the arch and then that and that simply like that and then you're just gonna go like that and then that and then for this back one you're just gonna do like that kind of it's hard to see. But basically, just gonna do that and then like that and then like that. Like 
kind of a little bit like that. Then take this back leg and do the same thing. And then the same for this leg. So work back to the foot. Also erase the front and then put a little swoosh out for this foot as well. I forgot. And then maybe just a little bit. That. For here, you're going to go this, make a V, another V, and then another V. You make three. Then, on the sides, you're just going to put little lines like that, connecting. Yes. Now, right here, you're just going to go like that, then add a little bump, and then come back. And then, you're going to just make little circles like that to the tip of the tail. And then, I'm pretty sure that is your ceiling. Oh, um, you can erase this line right here that's in the wing because you don't need that anymore. That was just kind of a guideline. You can also erase the circle a little bit if you want to. You don't have to. And then a little bit on the face as well. And there we have sea ring. My favorite tribe. So, um, yeah. That is how you draw an easier um, sea wing.